Hi, this is Eric Roach from the Plum Island Surfcasters. This is a quick demonstration on how I uh, solder my flutter spoons. First thing I'm going to do is take my hook and place it inside my vise. I'm going to position it in such a way that when I rotate it down and it's in contact with the wooden surface, this is under pressure right here because that's what's going to pin the blade in. So let me just make sure I'm nice and tight right there. I'm going to rotate that down, lift it up. It's now sitting nice on this block of wood. I'm going to make sure it's straight. I'm going to take my blade and I'm going to take a file and I'm just going to file the very very end of the blade to take any possible burrs off of here. If there is a burr at the end of that point right there it, um, it will have a hard time sitting straight on the hook. So I have the eye of the hook just over the lip here so I can slide the blade underneath and the pressure of the hook is keeping the blade in place. I'm just trying to position it so it's exactly even and make sure I'm giving myself enough room to have a uh, a bed of solder right there. So that looks pretty straight right there. I'm going to take a toothpick and a little bit of paste rosin flux. And come in here and a little dab will do you. Just a little tiny bit. This is what's going to help the solder flow, whether you're using a lead-based solder or not. Um, if you put too much uh, flux on, it overflows. It'll go over the lip of the, the blade and onto the wood and the back side of the blade, and it's really just kind of an ugly thing. So the next thing I'm going to do is load up my soldering iron with some solder. It takes a little bit of practice to get the correct amount for each size of uh, flutter spoon that you're making, but so about five dabs will do me for this size, I believe. Now I'm very gently going to come in. And I'm going to apply the solder tip, the heat, to the ring of the hook. And the um, flux will melt and it will take the solder with it and create a nice joint. So there it is. Just fell right down right there. Just going to dab a little bit back. So I'm reaching just a hair back on the hook shank itself. I'm going to put the solder down. And uh, it takes a few seconds for it to, uh, to cool down and solidify. Uh, usually when I'm waiting for this, I will clean off the previous uh, spoon, but this is probably enough time here where I can release this. And there it is. I'm going to take it out. And what I usually do is I have a little jar of denatured alcohol, and I'll just uh, drop the spoon in there and set it aside as I start soldering the next spoon. Uh, that's taking the, the excess rosin off of the spoon. So after a couple minutes, when I wipe it down, I get a nice, clean, neat joint here. And uh, I can move on to the next one. So that's my process. I hope that helps you. Thank you very much for watching.